Bank of Ghana is in crisis is self-inflicted. And this is orchestrated by President Akufuado and Dr. Baumia's government. When they fail to manage the economy, they basically turn the Bank of Ghana into a, print, a printing press, printing more money. The responsibility to prosecute the Bank of Ghana governor and anybody who hold uh, accountable is the Attorney General. But which of you here believes that Godfrey Dami is going to uh, uh, prosecute any member of our President Akufuado's government? It's not going to happen. But I can assure you that apart from the fact that the governor fears appearing before parliament, in fact, he doesn't even like appearing before the Finance Committee of Parliament. He thinks he's only accountable to President Akufuado. And the last time we needed to remind him that even the finance minister, upon all his escapades, is forced sometimes to appear before parliament. So if the, the finance minister is bigger than you, how dare you not be able to appear before parliament? Let him understand he is accountable to parliament. And the 21 days is a long grace period. Which of you will believe that a Bank of Ghana in this level of crisis, self-inflicted, will be building a $250 million new uh, headquarters. In fact, those of you who know Ridge Hospital, when President Mahama had the opportunity to lead this country, he built Ridge Hospital that you and I can use today. Right opposite of that hospital on the right-hand side is Bank of Ghana new headquarters, as if something is wrong with the old headquarters. You are broke. You have actually collapsed the economy. The next thing you do is to award a $250 million uh, uh, project. And guess what? That project is one of the fastest going projects in this country. Not hospital projects, not education projects, not road projects. The fastest going project in this country is the construction of Bank of Ghana. So how can you tell us that the country is broke when the, the, the headquarters of Bank of Ghana is going on at a speed of light? It means that this is deliberate. What will we do after the 21 days they shouldn't try us. We have options, like we always say. Our options are in our head. They should not try it because we are capable of deploying options that will get him out of office by force if he refused to go within the 21 days. And we are telling him he should not dare us because we have the capability of driving him out of the office with your support. Mm -hmm.